For decades, the Big Bang has been considered the definitive starting point of our universe, a singular event that gave rise to space, time, and all matter. But what if something existed before this monumental explosion? Recent research from the University of Texas at Austin introduces a groundbreaking theory suggesting that dark matter, the elusive substance making up about 27% of the universe, may have formed during a period known as cosmic inflation, predating the Big Bang itself. This theory, known as the warm inflation via ultraviolet freeze-in Wi-Fi model, could revolutionize our understanding of the universe's origins. In this video, we will explore what this theory is all about, how it challenges traditional cosmology, and what it could mean for the future of physics and our understanding of time itself. The Wi-Fi model proposes that dark matter was produced during the cosmic inflation period, a phase of rapid expansion that occurred fractions of a second after the universe's inception. Unlike traditional models where inflation would dilute any existing particles, the Wi-Fi model suggests that a thermal bath of particles persisted during this time. In this warm inflation scenario, the inflatant field, responsible for driving inflation, interacted with other particles, maintaining a high-energy environment conducive to the formation of dark matter through a process called ultraviolet freeze-in. In ultraviolet freeze-in, dark matter particles are produced via extremely weak interactions with the thermal bath, never reaching thermal equilibrium. This mechanism allows for the gradual accumulation of dark matter particles without them being diluted by the rapid expansion of the universe. The researchers found that this process could significantly enhance the dark matter yield compared to traditional models, especially when considering higher dimensional operators in the particle interactions. If dark matter indeed formed during the inflationary period, it implies that the substance predates the Big Bang, fundamentally altering our conception of the universe's timeline. This challenges the notion of the Big Bang as the absolute beginning and suggests a more complex pre-Big Bang era. The existence of dark matter before the Big Bang could also provide insights into the nature of dark matter itself. Since dark matter has eluded direct detection, understanding its origins could help identify its properties and interactions. The Wi-Fi model's mechanism of production via ultraviolet freeze-in suggests that dark matter interacts very weakly with ordinary matter, consistent with its elusive nature. Furthermore, this theory could have implications for the formation of cosmic structures. If dark matter was present before the Big Bang, it might have influenced the distribution of matter in the universe, affecting galaxy formation and the large-scale structure we observe today. If dark matter existed before the Big Bang, we're no longer talking about a single beginning of time, but a redefinition of what the beginning even means. The implications of the Wi-Fi model go beyond just particle physics. They may reopen the case for a pre-Big Bang reality governed by its own laws, structure, and perhaps even timelines. This theory nudges us toward a radical possibility. There may have been an entire epoch before the Big Bang, not a void, but a realm with its own physics. Under the Wi-Fi framework, the inflatant field wasn't an isolated mechanism, but one interacting with other particles in a hot environment. That interaction suggests complexity, rules, processes, and relationships before our universe as we know it came into being. It hints at the existence of a pre-Big Bang phase not bound by our current understanding of space-time. This naturally brings us to a tantalizing idea. Does this support multiverse theories or cyclic cosmologies? If inflation didn't wipe everything clean and instead preserved or even generated entities like dark matter, then perhaps it wasn't a one-time event. Models like eternal inflation propose that our universe is just one bubble in a constantly expanding cosmic foam each with its own Big Bang and physical constants. The idea that dark matter could persist through or even be birthed by inflation suggests continuity, a thread linking multiple universes or a cyclical process of cosmic birth, death, 
and rebirth. Even more profound are the philosophical implications. If something existed before the Big Bang, we must ask, what does that mean for time itself? In standard cosmology, time begins with the Big Bang. But if dark matter formed before it, then time didn't begin with the Big Bang. It was merely restructured. That would imply causality exists beyond our known temporal boundary, and events before the Big Bang could have influenced everything that followed. This challenges not just physics, but the very foundations of existence. If the Big Bang was not the genesis, then perhaps our universe is a chapter in a longer cosmic story, one governed by principles we have yet to uncover. It opens up questions like, can we test or observe anything from before our universe? Could the traces of pre-Big Bang physics still be visible in the cosmic microwave background or embedded in the structure of dark matter? While these questions remain open, they are no longer purely speculative. The Wi-Fi model anchors them in a physical mechanism, ultraviolet freeze-in, and ties them to a concrete phenomenon, dark matter. That's what makes this theory so powerful. It doesn't just expand the boundaries of physics. It challenges the cosmic narrative itself, suggesting we may be standing at the edge of a much larger and older reality. Thank you for watching. If you found this exploration into the origins of dark matter intriguing, please like, share, and subscribe for more insights into the mysteries of the cosmos.